Welcome to Document Management eSignature. Currently I'm located in the Account Documents page for Barbara Armstrong. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to put the 8879 out there for her to sign electronically with a pin as opposed to having to print it off, sign it, upload, upload it back to us. She's now able to just sign it using a pin that we give to her and when she's logged into her client portal. So to begin with, I'm going to upload her 8879. So it's PDF, the 8879 with your tax software, then you browse and we'll grab it, label it signature docs. I'm going to give her access to it. So to give her access to it on the portal, right under the file access column here I have, right now it says no access. I can give her full access, means she can access it anytime whether she has a balance due or not or limited access which means she can only access it once she's paid us in full. I'm going to go ahead and just give her full access. Down below here e-sign client, e-sign spouse. I'm going to go ahead and let's say Barbara is, is married okay so her spouse needs to sign also so I'm going to hit e-sign client which is Barbara, e-sign spouse okay then I'm going to go ahead and save it and now I need to give her a pin because in order to sign this, she needs to have a pin, which she needs to know what that pin is, or she could actually reset the pin on the portal too. But to give her, set up a pin for her, it's in the contact information section. This is the, for the, the client or the taxpayer pin right here. And then for the spouse's pin. So it has to be five characters, can be letters, could be numbers. It's going to go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five. Same for the spouse, one, two, three, four, five. And again, they need to know what this pin is. So you're communicating with them, letting them know what the pin is because you're setting it up. Now, if they don't know what the pin is, they can, they can recreate their own pin when they're inside the portal too. Or if you don't want to even give them a pin, they can set their own pin up inside the portal. And that's covered under another training video on e-signatures in the client portal. So this is how we set it up on our side, and then we'll show you how the client can do it too, but that's in the training video in the client portal. So I need to go ahead and save this. And as you see, the pin field uh, does not show the actual pin. In fact, it completely, the field is blank, and that's, that's the way it has to be. So you just have to know that you did set up a pin for them. And again, if it doesn't work, they can set up their own pin in, on the client portal. Now I'm going to go back to my account document section. And typically I give them access also to the tax return. So to give them access to the tax return the same way, you're going to PDF the return to the folder, to any folder. Then you just go ahead and grab the, the PDF tax return. I'm going to label it tax return. And again, I'm going to give them full access. And if I gave them limited, they wouldn't be able to access it until they pay. And as soon as they pay the balance, so if you have them pay on your portal, they would immediately be able to access that tax return. Nothing more you have to do. Then I just save it. And that's how you set up an e-signature. And then a client will take it from there. Um, now, I'm going to show you what it looks like once the client signs it on our side. So I'm going to go to tax return year 2013. And the client has already signed it. That year she was single, so it was just Barbara. So e-sign client, there's a checkbox right there, access to the 8879. This other column, electronic signatures, client signed on. It was signed on November 3rd at 1.24 p.m. And then we have the client certificate, which is this, just click on this printer icon. And if you needed to show proof, of anyone, IRS or whomever, that the client did sign the tax return, the 8879, this would be your proof. So it's, it has her name, the address, the document name. You can get more descriptive if you'd like. And right down here, the important thing is a timestamp, the date, the time. And document was signed with by Barbara Armstrong with login and password authentication. That's the key is that she's we know it was Barbara who signed it because she accessed that document 
to the client portal using her username and her password. So she's the only one that knows that, so she had to get in. And then the pin is just extra security that this really is Barbara signing this document using a pin for pin validation right here. And then we have to capture the IP address. So that's the IP address of the computer she used. So we know the location. So those are requirements IRS asked us to, to maintain and document. So if you ever needed this, is, this form would be available to them. And that's how you access it, just by clicking on the printer icon. So as soon as, as soon as Barbara and her spouse sign, let me get back to that 2014, sign the 2014 8879, we'll actually get notification coming in on our home page that the client just signed a document. So then we know that we can then move it to the next stage, which would probably be reviewer or EF ready. So that's all I have tied to e-signature. Thank you.